Planet Earth is changing at an alarming rate. Humans have modified the environment, inflicting serious repercussions. The advent of climate change and habitat destruction are already impacting the planet, animals and us. Species extinction is irreversible. Once a species is extinct, it's final, as well as the consequences that unfold as a result. Without biodiversity, there is no future for humanity. But the leading question is can we turn this around? And what can we do? A species can be an animal, a tree, a coral, or any number of other life forms on this planet. Endangered means seriously at risk of extinction. The International Union for Conservation of Nature tells us whether a given species still exists and the likelihood of that species becoming extinct in the future. They provide a red list of threatened species. This is a critical indicator of the health of the world's biodiversity. It also informs and instigates action for biodiversity conservation and policy change. A species can fall into one of eight categories least concern, near threatened, vulnerable, endangered, critically endangered, extinct in the wild, extinct, and data deficient. Critically endangered means the species is an extremely high risk of extinction. Endangered means a very high risk of extinction. And vulnerable means high risk of extinction. There have been five big mass extinctions in geologic history. Everybody knows about the asteroid that wiped out the dinosaurs. One of the lesser known facts about extinction is that there were five mass events. This is when a species declines gradually at the end of its evolutionary period. Evolutionary adaptation has given rise to the cornucopia of life. Of all the species that have ever lived, only a tiny fraction is alive today. The evolutionary strategies of some species were just not good enough and succumbed to competitors and predators. Organisms that are more adapted to their environment are more likely to survive and pass on the genes that aided their success. This process causes species to change and diverge over time. An ecosystem is a collaborative environment which depends on multiple organisms. So once one attribute vanishes, the whole ecosystem functioning begins to unravel. So when species are vanishing at a rapid and unnatural rate, the balance is completely broken. So losing any species will lead to a strong ripple effect. In the last 250 years, 571 species have been confirmed extinct, and there's between 200 and 2,000 extinctions every year. According to the IUCN, more than 31,000 species are threatened with extinction. 41% of amphibians, 25% of mammals, 14% of birds, 30% of sharks and rays, 33% of reef corals, and 27% of selected crustaceans. Due to advancements in technology and equipment, humans are able to more efficiently gather resources and at a quicker rate. For example, fishing gear and boats have improved, so more fish are harvested. With the human population growth rate increasing so rapidly, the demand obviously becomes higher. Many species are critically endangered due to hunting. Illegal hunting is a huge problem and still threatens wildlife significantly today, especially large mammals. The illegal wildlife trade is the fourth largest criminal industry in the world and one of the biggest threats to some of the most iconic species on the planet, 
like the rhino and the elephant. Mammals are hunted and used for fur, claimed medicinal purposes, ivory and many more. Most hunting, fishing and collecting activities affect not only the primary target species but also the species that are taken accidentally or opportunistically. So this has a domino effect. It has a severe impact on the food web and the environment. Habitat loss is one of the leading threats to species diversity. It's considered the most important driver of species extinction worldwide. We destroy habitats to make room for a growing human population, to grow more crops and provide space for livestock. Agriculture has replaced nearly all wetlands in North America. All species have specific food and habitat needs. So if their habitat is reduced, contaminated or destroyed, evidently the species will suffer and decline and even eventually become extinct. Half of the world's original forests are gone and what remains is being cut down 10 times faster than it can be replaced. Animals that need large areas to roam are being squeezed into smaller areas. African lions, for example, they're forced to live on less than 10% of the land they once occupied. It's also led to an increase in human-wildlife conflict as humans and animals fight over the same territory. There are 500 times more of pieces of microplastic in the sea than there are stars in our galaxy. 800 million tonnes of plastic is dumped into the ocean each year. This includes the Arctic and remote islands in the Pacific Ocean. Plastic is having a devastating impact on the world's marine wildlife. They eat it. They get trapped in it. It overwhelms and destroys their environments. And because plastic degrades to microscopic levels, fish absorb through their stomachs and into their flesh, meaning that humans also end up eating their own plastic waste. Other pollutants like pesticides and herbicides released into the environment have an impact too. Agricultural runoff is having a devastating effect on the Great Barrier Reef in Australia. Climate change has a massive impact on our planet's diversity, with rising ocean temperatures and diminishing Arctic sea ice affecting marine biodiversity. This shifts the vegetation zones, forcing species to adapt to new conditions. Some species are able to adjust. Others move into new, more favourable areas. Some species are being affected in ways that will have an impact for generations to come. Can we turn this around? Some good news. Yes, we can turn this around and we can make a difference. In the last few years, a revolution in the environmental agenda has taken shape and spreading into a movement, which now appears to be unstoppable. This is a revolution in collaboration for action and a new drive for environmental cooperation. There is still time to save threatened and endangered species and vulnerable communities. We can recover and restore some of what has been lost and balance human activity with conservation actions. As individuals and communities, we can and must take action. We can make a difference if we all unite together and take responsibility. So what can we do? Pay attention to your carbon footprint and look into how to reduce it. As individuals, we can work towards lowering our carbon footprints. As a collective, we can pressure government to help make countries greener. The scale of pollution on our planet can feel overwhelming, but such small individual actions like recycling, conserving energy at home and using public transportation can help make a difference. Recycle and buy less. Buy sustainable products like bamboo, recycled paper, and never buy furniture made from wood from rainforests. Recycle your phone, 
because a mineral used in cell phones and other electronics is mined in Gorilla Habitat. Minimize your use of palm oil. Move towards a plant-based diet. Switching to a plant-based diet reduces water and land use, lowers pollution, slows deforestation and reduces the destruction of topsoil. Donate to charities that are making a difference. They are always in need of help. You can start fundraisers. You can run community events. Learn about endangered species. Probably the most important step to protecting endangered species is learning about how interesting and important they are. Our natural world provides us with clean air and water, food and medicinal sources, commercial, aesthetic and recreational benefits. Know the facts, educate yourself and others about biodiversity. This means you can teach your friends and your family about the wonderful wildlife, birds, fish and plants that live near you. Never purchase products made from threatened or endangered species. Become an advocate for animals, spread the word and raise awareness. People are at the heart of conservation because without people, conservation wouldn't exist. We are the cause of the issues. So therefore, we are the solution. What are you going to do next to help your fellow beings?